I am super excited to unmold these adorable little Texas shaped soaps, especially this one. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like the ocean, right? So they've been sitting in here for several hours. Let's see if I can do this without knocking over the camera. So cute. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. How adorable is that? Isn't that blue amazing? So this is with shea butter for the white and the blue is uh, the aloe, um, aloe vera soap base. And I sent it with uh, vanilla and blueberry. So yeah, they smell amazing, but oh, so cute. Okay. I got this little Texas mold at H-E-B for $6, which is amazing because, you know, silicone molds are not cheap. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's oh, so pretty. Uh, I just love the contrast of the blue and the white. Oh, that's cool. I really like how that turned out. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let's undo these ones. Unmold this one. There's the back. And there's the front. Ugh. Look, I still have mica on my finger. Ugh. So pretty. These turned out awesome. Um, this one got a little messed up on the back. I got a little overzealous with the filling. I kind of overfilled this one a little bit, but oh, still so pretty. I don't have any red colorant or red mica, otherwise I would have done some red, white, and blue, but I have some on order. But that, I love that, how it just looks like the ocean. That's amazing. And then this one, of course, was the last one I did, so it's a little, a little bit short, a little under filled of the soap, but it was in, it's still enough to do one. It was just a little baby, a little bit thinner than the other ones, but oh, look at that. So pretty. I'm just kind of in love with that contrast. I don't know which one's my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> I love the contrast on the back of this one, but they just, they came out awesome. So I'm super happy with these. Um, yeah. They smell super good. They feel wonderful. Nice soap base from Brambleberry. So yeah, there you go.